Good, good job. Awesome. Good job. Hi, this is Shane. This is Clyde. And we're Fearcast, and we're recording live at Texas Frightmare Weekend in Dallas, actually Irvine, Texas. Irving. Irving. Irvine, Irving. I think there's an Irvine somewhere in here. There's a big enough state, they've probably got all sorts of stuff. There is. Really? And we're going Excellent. to allow this gentleman here to introduce himself. I'm Chad Lindbergh from I Spit It On Your Grave, the 2010 version. Uh, yeah, great to be here. Thank you. So what do you do with the show? Uh, What's your part? I play Matthew. I play the mentally handicapped character who uh, is one of the rapists in the movie who uh, uh, well, rapes the main character and then gets avenged later on. Wow. That was pretty, that's considered one of the most violent of the early slasher flicks. And it, the fact that it was a girl getting revenge just made it all the more warped and you're updating it to the 2000s. Right. That's a pretty, a pretty tough road to go down. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, we've definitely got a, 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 a lot of slack online. People have kind of been up in arms over it a little bit. And naturally so, it's, it's definitely um, in their right to defend the original and as they should. Well, you this know. has been the decade of the remake. Eh, absolutely. Mixed and opinions. It, absolutely, you know, uh, you know, remakes just seem to be the thing going on in Hollywood. And even myself, you know, if I see a remake, I'm like, ah. But, you know, at the same time, we got to give them a chance and, and see what they do. You know, you never know. It could be good. Well, we can't all be Rob Zombie. Right, <laughs> exactly. Um, but, you know, I feel very confident in this version. You know, we, we really tried hard to make it very realistic and... Uh, um, it has depth and some performance, and the original, the original was great, but it was a little campy at times. I felt a little sort of over the top, and this is very sort of brought down and very serious. And, and well, I don't know. Darker. Darker. Yeah, if that's possible. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say a darker version of my spit in your grave. Right. That is going to. That's gonna make Rob Zombie's movies look like well, a Barney. <laughs> well, you know, you're if this. Not careful. Yeah. <laughs> This, uh, we made ugly look pretty, if that makes sense, you know, which I'm a big fan of. I like when they take dark and make it look really good. Okay, so, uh, we've got this. What other have, what other movies have you worked on? Uh, I've done a lot of, of, of films and, and TV, I guess most recognizable from The Fast and the Furious, October Sky, The Rookie, um, and also Supernatural, where I play Ash. Um, so, uh, you know, I've done a, a lot of indie films, of course, over the years, and, uh, you know, just been fortunate and lucky enough to work. How'd you get into this? I started acting in high school, and uh, up in Seattle. Theater kid. Yeah, just doing theater, and then from there, uh, you know, I was like a junior, and just started doing little bits in, in Seattle, and then I got a movie called Black Circle Boys, uh, and, and I got one of the leads in Seattle, and that kind of opened doors for me in L.A. I moved to L.A. when I was 19, and fortunately just started working from there. And, just and sure. here you are. Here I am. Right? Yeah. And in Texas. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, that's cool, right? <laughs> yeah. I like Texas. I mean, it's a really neat state. I just wish the neat parts were so far away from each other. I know, right? They, they, yes, they have a big state. You don't have to spread out that much. <laughs> I know. I know. But, uh, five years to get to Austin for Dallas, and then another ten to get down to San Antonio. What's that about? I know. I, I'm a big fan of Austin. I spent three Austin. months. Yeah, three months there doing the rookie uh, years ago, and I fell in love with it. I've been to Dallas a few times, and you know, it's always good times here. So when are we going to see I Spin Under This fall. This fall? Yeah. Hopefully, they're thinking September. Um, it depends on the whole rating thing right now. They're sort of okay. And season. Are, you know, just sort of back and back and forth. That's a really tough one. Movie ratings is always a little sticky. I mean, horror movies generally get an R just because. Right. Mean, you could have nothing but blood in it, it could still be an R, or you might have nudity. You never know. But my dad raised me on horror movies, actually, from approximately about the age of eight, I guess, maybe six. I was, I was watching horror movies in kindergarten with him. Just, that was my bonding right. with Dad. Yeah. He went down to our local video rental, A to Z video rental, no longer in business, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, and uh, my, my rental number, was, he, he would let me use his, and it was uh, 1-595, but it was such a small thing that they we would just walk in, not show a car. It's like, I'm 595. I'm like, all right, we got you. Nice. And I was his son, and I'm still using my dad's account, and he actually told him, look, if he wants to rent a horror movie, even if it's rated R, that's yeah, cool. Absolutely. Just nothing nothing that's like one of those Skinamax things. Right. But horror movies, that's okay. Right. 
But, you know, you slap something like NC-17, even though that's really not for children under 17, that's all we're saying. Right. It's kids that's death. That's kind of saying, that's like the old X rating. Right. You know, you need to have the, the, the panther roar and <laughs> right. have that horrible grindhouse thing going. I don't know what the music's like. Yeah, right. Yeah. R ratings, right? X ratings. Yeah, it'd be interesting. You know, if people hear NC-17, they're going to be like, well, we got to go see this now. You know, we're right. out of curiosity. Um, so hopefully, you know, it comes out and, and, and the studio makes it the way it should be. So or, far, it's on the right track. Or the other option would be, um, this is, I'll ask your opinion. Would this be one you think they should have a theatrical cut and then they should have the director's cut? Or do the theatrical cut to get bare, barely into an R and then actually do the real version as a DVD release? Or you think they ought to just go at it and try and go for it? everything all at once. If I had my way, I would say go balls to the balls <laughs> in theaters. You know Do what I'm saying? Theater, have people like freaking out. Absolutely. I would I would hope that people were like nauseated and had to leave. That would mean we did our job. <laughs> you know? Um, of course, you know, the, the higher ups don't think that way in terms of, you know, getting people into the seats. They're and thinking money. They're thinking money. And as actors, you know, we're we're only in control of what we do on set, and then from there, it's like up to everybody else. But I'm sure they're gonna do a strong R, you know, and then there will be an unrated version, of course, on the DVD, right. um, that we get to see all the other groups and extras. So, you know, I just hope it just comes out the way it's meant to, and so people can go in theaters and see it. Is there a website for the movie? Not yet, but I think they're, like, within a week, gonna have all that up, the trailer, and all that stuff going on. Is there any way we can follow If you're you listening, on get on it. Yeah, Twitter and Facebook, yeah. Okay. So what do we look up to get up on there? On what's Facebook the what's Twitter? Twitter follow? Uh, Chad Lindbergh. It's just my name. Okay. Chad Lindbergh. Yeah, Chad Lindbergh. What is what this? Is this? You're probably going to be getting an ad from me and Clyde here in the next couple of days and an ad to our Facebook site for our show. And we're going to have this posted hopefully here by the end of the week. That sounds great, man. I'll follow you right back. Excellent. Hey, Thank you so much. Pleasure to meet you. All right, man. It's been a pleasure, man. Thank, Thank you. Very much.